Hello everyone. The story I'm going to share today is Liao Fanyuan changes his fate. Some people may think, isn't fate already set? How can this be changed? We never think of this when our lives are going well. But once our lives encounter ups and downs or even misfortune, many of us would feel upset and think, "Why is my life so bitter?" How can I continue to live for the rest of my life? I'm telling you, no matter what tribulations you encounter, don't be sad. I would like to share the following story with you now, and hope it would inspire and enlighten your life. Yuan Liaofan was born in the Ming Dynasty. When he was a child, Liaofan's father died. And his mother told him to give up going to school and attempting imperial examination, since she felt he was certain to fail. Instead, she told him to focus on becoming a doctor. Later, Liao Fan met an old man in Ciyuan Temple. The old man looked extraordinary. He had a long beard and seemed like a mortal floating in the air. Liao Fan showed his deep respect and bowed to him. The old man said, "You should be an official. Next year you could attend imperial examination." He told the old man all about what his mother told him. He also asked the old man's name and where he came from. The old man said, "My family name is Kong. I came from Yunnan Province." I received two teachings from Kan Jieshao of Song Dynasty on the subject of Huang Jijing. According to the heavenly arrangement, I will pass this to you. Liao Fan invited the old man home and told his mother all about it. His mother was very happy and said, "Since this gentleman is able to calculate the future, why not ask him to calculate your fortune?" And see if it works. As a result, Kong calculated several small matters that were all accurate. He also helped Liao Fan to predict every major details for the rest of his whole life. Kong said, "In this year, you will be elected as a governor of Sichuan Province, and serve as governor for three and a half years, and then you will resign and go back to your hometown." At age of fifty-three, on August fourteenth, your life will end. Unfortunately, you have no son in your life. Liu Fan recorded the details of his life and learned them by heart. From then on, the details accurately predicted all of his rankings in examinations he attended. One night, instead of reading, he tried to meditating, not speaking and not thinking of anything. A few years later, he returned to Nanjing. First, he went to see Zen Master Yungu, who was an enlightened monk. Liao Fan meditated face to face with Master Yungu in a meditation room for three days and three nights without opening his eyes. Yungu said to him, "Human beings cannot become saints because their hearts are wrapped in delusion." But you have sat here for three days without giving in to a single delusion. Why? He answered, "Mr. Kong calculated my fate. When I was born, when I will die, when I will have happy life, when I will face adversity. These are all fixed, and cannot be changed. What is the sense of having a bee in my bonnet? I do not want to think anything." So I don't have any delusions. Yungu smiled and said, "I had thought that you were an outstanding person, but now I know that you are just mediocre kind of person who has some renown." Liu Fan asked him why, and Yungu explained, "I cannot say that an ordinary person has no bee in his bonnet, but if you have this delusion about your fate." And keep thinking it's true. You will be trapped within the clutches of yin and yang. 
If your fate is bounded by the clutches of yin and yang, how can your fate not be fixed? Only ordinary people are bounded by this theory. If a person has tremendous compassion, he will not be restrained by this theory. Because a person has tremendous compassion, even if he has suffering predestined in his life, because he does great deeds for other people, the energy of the great deeds will change his suffering to happiness. A poor and short life will change into wealthy and long one. The same is true if a person is very evil. He is also not bounded by this theory. Because he is very evil, even if he has happiness predestined in this life, because he did such an evil thing, the energy of the evil will turn happiness into a disaster. His wealthy and long life will be changed to a poor and short life. For more than 20 years now, your fortune has been calculated by Mr. Kong. There was not a little change in your fortune. On the contrary, it was bounded by it. For this kind of person, isn't he just an ordinary person? So am I wrong to call you an ordinary person? Liu Fan asked Yuan Gu, According to what you say, can one escape from his fixed fate? Yuan Gu answered, Your fate is in your hands, and your happiness also depends on you. If you do bad deeds, you will lose your happiness. If you do good deeds, you will gain happiness. As long as you are doing good deeds, your fate is not going to restrain you. Liu Fan believed what Yun Gu told him and also accepted teachings from him. He repented before the Buddha statue for all the bad deeds he did in the past, including all of his mistakes both big and small. He swore to do 3,000 good deeds to show gratitude to Yun Gu. From then on, he changed his name to the name We Remember Him by Liao Fan, which literally means and notions. In the end, Liao Fan lived up to 73 years old, exceeding his predicted age of death by 20 years. Also, he did have a son. At the age of 69, based on his own life experiences, Liu Fan started to write a book named Liu Fan's Four Lessons, which include recognizing the truth about a fate, identifying the criteria for good and evil, returning to the goodness, and proving the reverse of behaving with high moral standards. This book has played a great role in moral cultivation from generation to generation in China. Thank you for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if you just subscribe it. Thank you again.